Welcome and thank you for visiting the historic Metal Trust Bridge online open house. Today, Texas boasts about 130 trust bridges that remain in vehicular service. Many of these bridges are treasured historic structures in their community. However, these bridges can face significant safety issues due to their size, age, and deteriorating conditions. Additionally, these old structures were designed for much lighter vehicles than the vehicles that currently use them today. TxDOT, in partnership with the Texas Historical Commission and Historic Bridge Foundation, is developing a statewide management plan to chart the future of these bridges, either in continued vehicular use or reuse for other purposes. This work is part of TxDOT's mission to build a safe and reliable transportation system, and we need your help. The purpose of the open house is to begin the conversation with you about the problems facing historic trust bridges and possible solutions that TxDOT apply to other historic trust bridges in the state, and to gather your feedback on your local bridges and the issues they face. After the conclusion of these open houses, TxDOT plans to assess management strategies in the fall winter, work with consulting parties in the spring of 2016, and present the management plan to the public in late summer or early fall 2016. We hope to finalize the plan by winter 2017. Keep in mind that TxDOT is focusing our efforts on trust bridges still in vehicular service. We are unable to assist you on trust bridges bypassed or moved as part of earlier projects. However, the Texas Historical Commission and the Historic Bridge Foundation will happily discuss such bridges with you. More information about trust bridges and other historic bridges is available on the TxDOT Historic Bridge webpage. Also, please make sure you click on the interactive links that follow this video. They are listed as Locate My Bridge and Take a Survey. This map shows all of the trust bridges in the state still in vehicular service. TxDOT currently owns approximately 20% of these bridges, as indicated by the orange dots. The remaining 100 or so bridges are owned and maintained by local governments, such as cities and counties. Zooming in to your city or county shows the location of trust bridges. Clicking on each dot brings up basic information for each bridge, including its location, type of trust, and date of construction. Depending on the type of information available from TxDOT, clicking on More Info may bring up photographs of the bridge, a statement of historic significance, or a National Register of Historic Places nomination. Please remember to click on the Locate Your Bridge link following this video. Did you know that each year more metal truss bridges are lost due to deterioration, safety concerns, or current traffic needs? Evaluating the truss bridges weighs both safety and historic preservation, a balance we try to achieve any time we are working on the transportation system. Truss bridges face multiple problems. The most common challenge is funding. As the primary owners of historic trust bridges, city and county governments must stretch their budgets to ensure their appropriate maintenance and repair. Lack of funding often leads to deferred maintenance which can accelerate a bridge's deterioration or damage. TxDOT assists bridge owners by conducting regular inspections intended to identify potential problems early on. TxDOT also administers the Highway Bridge Program on behalf of the Federal Highway Administration to provide federal funds to replace structurally deficient or obsolete bridges. Local governments must contribute 10% of the cost for such bridge replacement projects. Funding isn't always the only problem facing truss bridges. Designed many decades ago, Trusses tend to be narrow bridges in remote areas now experiencing changes in traffic. Today's users increasingly find that truss bridges are unable to carry wide or heavy loads. Farmers and ranchers in the area may need to use the bridge for large combines or cattle trucks. Oil and gas exploration brings heavy rigs into these areas as well. Emergency vehicles and modern school buses may also challenge load capacity of the truss bridges. 
With the population of Texas growing every year, roads and highways are widened for safety considerations. Many truss bridges must be replaced due to physical constraints, such as the width of the bridge. The foundation of truss bridges is also very important. Problems with the foundation can undermine the structural stability of the bridge. Floods can wash away foundations or scour underneath the pilings. Streams can shift course and widen the gap between the roadbed and the bridge. Many residents and even community leaders may not be aware of what it takes to maintain a safe bridge. It is important to talk with your county judge, commissioner, engineer, or road maintenance team, and TxDOT area or district bridge engineer about historic bridges in your community. Discussing ways to retain historic bridges as viable assets in a community must be a critical step taken long before a specific transportation project is planned. Following this video, take a short survey to let us know some of the problems facing your truss bridges currently or in the past. Truss bridges can be more than 100 years old. Most date from the early 20th century. These historic bridges were not designed for modern vehicular traffic. Based on TxDOT's inspections of the bridge every two years, each bridge's load capacity is assessed. TxDOT recommends load posting recommended if the bridge's configuration, structural, and geometric capacities no longer meet modern traffic demands. Commercial trucks, buses, fire trucks, ambulances, and combines are heavy vehicles that often use truss bridges. These vehicles may need to drive on truss bridges that are load posted for lighter vehicles, becoming a safety concern and possibly leading to additional damage to the bridge. People licensed to drive these vehicles should know their weight limits. If you want to understand the weights of local fleets, talk to your law enforcement, school districts, and fire departments. It is the responsibility of law enforcement to address drivers who violate the load posting. Sometimes the problems facing a truss bridge prevent it from carrying two-way vehicular service. When that is the case, TxDOT examines other options that can keep the bridge in place. The bridge may work if converted to carry one-way traffic, such as along a frontage road. These trusses remain as crossings next to large roadways, but are not the main crossing for that road. Some bridges may no longer be able to carry vehicular traffic, but can be converted to pedestrian service. This solution is common for truss bridges in urban areas where pedestrian or by traffic already exists. If a bridge must be completely close to traffic, TxDOT may choose to bypass the bridge with a new bridge and leave the old truss in place as a monument. Leaving access to the historic bridge allows TxDOT or the owner of the bridge to be able to perform maintenance on the bridge and inspect the bridge for any significant damage. However, access can lead to increased liability. Liability concerns cause some bridge owners to leave the bridge as a monument but curtail access to the bridge. This solution is a last resort, as maintenance and inspections cannot be made to the bridge to ensure its continued survival. If a bridge cannot continue in vehicular service but can be moved, TxDOT then searches for a responsible owner that may be willing to take the bridge and reuse it in a park, driveway, trail, or museum. TxDOT employs specific strategies based on whether a truss bridge may remain safely in service. TxDOT's engineers consider whether or not the bridge can be completely rehabilitated and continue to carry two-way traffic or open to one-way vehicular traffic or serve pedestrian traffic or considered as a candidate for bypassing and leaving in place. If the bridge cannot remain in service at its current location, relocation may be a possibility. If TxDOT is able to find a responsible owner, the bridge could be relocated to a public park or on a public trail. Other options for the bridge include storage until a new use is found for the bridge, or moving the bridge to publicly accessible private property, such as a private golf course or an adjacent ranch. If a bridge cannot remain in place and cannot be moved, then the bridge is demolished. 
Textot carefully documents and records the physical features and history of such bridges, often working with locals and developing exhibits for a museum or library, or developing a web-based history of the bridge. Please remember to vote on your preferred bridge solution by clicking on the survey link following this video. Thank you for being a part of this important process. If you are interested in more information, you can complete a short 5-minute survey to give feedback on your trust bridges. Invite the project team to meet with your group. Join our email list via the survey to receive the newsletter and updates to public input and learning opportunities. Please make sure you click on the interactive links that follow this video. They are listed as Locate My Bridge and Take a Survey. We look forward to continuing the conversation with you.